Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like an o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. PayPal Picks Edition. Uh, yeah, I do picks for you daily. NHL Picks for you daily. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of them here. Quick picks. For those of you that don't have that much time on your hands to be fluttering around and, uh, you know, whatever. Fluttering around. You should flutter. Flutter is a good thing. I hope you're getting your flutter on often. Otherwise, you know, maybe you're not doing it right now, but make sure you're getting your flutter on, I say. Have a little coffee. Okay. So we're going to go into last night's picks. We're going to talk about that. We did well. We did well. And we're going to go into the last night or tonight. When are you watching this? I got to always remember people give me, people give me like little letters. They write me letters and you, I love your letters. Go send your letters. Guido goes, goes down to the mailroom and picks them up every day. And we all do the Perlo dance around the table of letters and, it's fun. So yeah, send your letters, but I forget to do the date so you know what you're watching. So it's the 24th today. So, and these games are on right now that we did last night. Okay. Well, I'll, do, I'll be doing some more letters for you. I also got those letters, the letters that you gave me to tell me to do more letters. I got those. We're going to do more. But we got lots of games to do today, so we can't. So, here we go. I'm going to give you my picks, quick picks for today, which I say right in the title, the first five minutes, I give you quick picks because I want I want you to be happy. Yeah. And I want you to get good, solid, quality, fresh picks. So, so that's why I do this. Also, if you like the pick thing, Take a little time off work. Maybe while you're working, turn on the YouTube on this channel. Maybe you don't work, and that would be awesome. Between, maybe you quit your job. Just quit your job. Three to five Eastern time, five days a week, Monday to Friday, the Perlo Show. I do it. And I have fan fantastic guests. Uh, Charming, charming guests. I like to use the word charming. We had Steel on today, Steel Flyers from the Steel Flyers All Sports Network that pays me. <laughs> I had him on. And we also have uh, the, um, the oh, tomorrow I think we're going to have Professor Joe. Pro Joe. Freaking amazing, uh, amazing uh, sports mind. He has his own uh, channel called Sports Fanatic News. He'll be on tomorrow. So come check me out on there. Okay, here we go. I know you're all getting restless. Islanders ML under five against Boston. I'm a little unsure about this one because I don't know who's going to be COVID and not and all that because it's after COVID with Boston. Uh, Rangers ML over six. Capitals in regulation. Over five and a half. Canes, ML, under five and a half. Leafs in reg, under six and a half. Penguins in reg, under five and a half. Predators, ML, under five and a half. Wild, ML, under five and a half. Lightning, ML, or sorry, I believe... Yeah, ML under five and a half. And Avalanche ML over five and a half. Did I say under for Wild? Wild ML over five and a half. I hope I said over. Over five and a half. So there you go. There's your quick picks. Now off with you. Off with you. Go scurry about doing whatever you do. What's more important than this. All right? And then watch the rest of this later when you got time, of course. Okay, bye. Okay. Now that, the, now that we got rid of the riffraff, let's get into the real stuff, will we? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, remember, if you're still there, these change. And if you go, I update people all the time on Patreon. I have a Patreon app. Patreon, you, I'll give, put the thing in the bio. And if you want to go there, I'll give you a free month. Go ahead. Go over there. I'll give you a free month if you take the $25 package per month. I'll give you a free month. And then if you don't, if you want to go down in lower tiers, go ahead or leave. Won't cost you a dime. But I update you like on games. And I also have uh, my my uh, best bets, as Best Bet Ed says. Best Bet Ed, go check him out. He's amazing. Uh, I have best bets and so on all of that stuff like that. So you want you, you might want to go over there. Okay, tomorrow, today's, yesterday, today's games now. Today's games now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, how did we do? How did we do, boys and girls? Uh, some of these games are on right now. Ooh, okay. Uh, the Kings have come back and made it 2-1. We have the Jets ML for small, small pearls. But the big, big pearls, the, the large, crazy, all over the land pearls are on the under here. So we don't want more than three goals. We don't want more than two for sure, but three would be a push. So let's, let's do something there, Canucks. Make sure you don't score. Stop the Jets from scoring, and we're good. Thank you. That was, uh, that was our best bet. Sharks versus the Kings. We had... The uh, well, this one's a little dicey. We have the Kings ML, so that's not working out too well so far. And the under, both of them for medium pearls, so it could work out. Two goals by the Kings, and we're we're golden. But even if it just stays like this, we pretty much break even. Not too bad. Senators versus Flames, we had the Flames ML, didn't get it, but we also had the under, almost, a, like, I think we're down about almost half a pearl there. Uh, after this game, we won't be, but on those two, we'd be down half a pearl. If this stays the way it is, we're up significantly, assuming large pearls is three, if you go five or whatever, we'd be up a lot. Uh, we're up a lot, a lot here, too, because we had the wild for large pearls in regulation. And we had the under for small pearls, so about half a pearl. So in regulation, I think it was 167. So you're paying like you're getting a, just over a pearl and a half and the under, say, two, say just over two pearls in that game alone. This one, of course, we had the PL on the Penguins for large pearls, large. We loved this play. We loved it, and we got it. Uh, PL, which paid 187. So, again, we're up copious amounts of pearls. The under is what we had for this for small pearls, more or less just going with the juice. We lost half a pearl, but we're up considerably on the day. We're up, even if this goes a little bit awry, which I doubt it will, we're still up. And this is what I mean. If you do my picks every day, over time, you'll be up a lot. More than you will be down. Also, oh, I got to check. We had a basketball pick. Uh, it's, uh, tell me, tell me if uh, the Celtics lost by less than, uh, lost against the Bucks, minus four. Okay, bucks minus four. I think that's what it was. Tell me that. And we had, did we have a ten, we had a tennis pick come in? Tennis picks have been insane. Let me tell you, I'm hitting, hitting, hitting like crazy. Okay, let's go to tomorrow's games. Tomorrow's games. Where are tomorrow's games? Right here. Tomorrow's games. Okay, first game. I mentioned it when we were doing the quick picks things here. Boston versus the Islanders. I mentioned that uh, it's a little hard to pick here because, uh, but we don't know. Like when a team comes off of COVID, there's going to be some guys that can play and some don't, and they haven't told anybody anything yet. So I'm not sure. But since if you're going to put a bet in right now, you might as well take the plus money at 206. Uh, you can get what 
you can these are these are some of the bookies you can go to i'd really go to this nhl odd shark it's pretty killer it gives you uh all, like all these different options and you can find your best one like when we get to the next one you'll see if you go to opening if you like picking dogs they always give good juice on dogs 218 opening app it's really good so let's say we do that 218 Islanders ML now the line here is five and uh, it, it makes some sense to go even under five here because uh, the Islanders generally are a low scoring team and Boston will probably be having a hard time getting a little bit difficult time getting their legs you're getting good juice on it and Tuka Rask, I hear, might be in net. So it'll be Rask against Barlamov. Could be a very sluggish game. Uh, so, yeah, under five would probably be my play. Next one, Rangers versus the Flyers. I can't pick the Flyers. I just can't. Uh, Carter Hart's supposed to be in net, even if Elliott's in net. The other thing is, for the Rangers, Shesterkin is back. Now, it's his first game back after a layoff, but he's had that happen before, and he didn't miss a beat. If Shesterkin's playing like he has been, uh, that time that they lost 6 nothing to the Rangers not too long ago, uh, Gorgiev is in that. Now, a lot of people are going to say this is a revenge game, and probably, uh, you know, uh, Professor MJ, if you know him, he's a great capper too. He, said, he talks about that a lot, but Philadelphia just doesn't seem to have much revenge in them. And uh, I'm going to go the Rangers on the money line here. I think Philadelphia's fallen out of the playoffs. Uh, until I see some defensive acumen, uh, which I don't, I'm going to have to do that. Now, as far as the total... Uh, What did I have? Over six. Yeah, I got I got to go over six. I mean, Flyers are over all the time. Even though Shesterkin's in net, I still think it'll be over six. Washington versus New Jersey. These odds just came in. Um, I'm, I'm going to go Washington and Reg here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Washington and Reg. Uh, look at our weekly schedule just to make sure here. I believe Washington just had a break. So, um, let's look real quick. I believe Washington just had a break. Yeah, look, they have, they've had a couple days off. Now they're playing at home against New Jersey, who is playing three games in four nights. Yeah, I, I, no, sorry, two games. Two games, in, two, uh, two games now on the road. Yeah, I'm going to go with Washington here. Um, as far as the total is concerned, as far as the total is concerned, uh, I, I like the under. Or did I like the over? <laughs> I'm just realizing now that I didn't look. Yeah. Over. I guess I do like the over. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about that one because Blackwood's been playing really well. But Washington can score so much. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to stick with it over six. Carolina versus Columbus. Uh, we got Carolina money line, which isn't giving you great juice. But um, Columbus is very can, be, can surprise anybody right now, I feel. I feel. Once they get over this Carolina series that they're in, I think Columbus is going to go on a bit of a run. However, it's a lot to ask to beat this Carolina team that is rolling. A lot of this is going to be about whether Nedeljkovic or Reimer is in. If Reimer is in for this game, I may switch. If Corpusalo is in for this game, I'm going over. Okay. If Merzlikens is in for this game, I'm going under. If Corpusalo and Reimer are in, I'll probably be looking at a big over there. We'll see. But um, so we don't know for sure. It says Mars Lickens is likely. So we're going to go with that and say that I'll take Carolina and the under. 
Toronto versus Ottawa. Ottawa's on a back-to-back. -back. Toronto just came off a break. Um, I got to take Toronto here. Um, I'm going to have to go in reg, too. So, like, 165. Um, Ottawa's a tough team. They're going to fight hard. They could surprise here. Uh, play, but playing on a back-to-back -back is pretty tough. I don't know who they're going to put in net. They're going to put the kid probably back in net again, which would have him play back-to-back. Uh, Gustafson. Calgary didn't challenge him anywhere near enough. I think Toronto will challenge him a lot more. More. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. I like the kid. I like Gustafson. It's the reason why I picked Ottawa the first game against Calgary. I don't know why I changed my mind for the second, but it's all right. I'm still going to go with Toronto here in regulation and under six and a half. Pittsburgh versus Buffalo. This is a little more difficult than you think. First of all, they're playing on a back-to-back. -back. Second of all, I've heard that Linus Olmark might be playing for Buffalo here. This could be the spot for Buffalo. It could be the spot. I think I put Pittsburgh down here as the winner of this game, but I'm, I'm not as sure. I'm not super sure about that. Um... I'm leaning Pittsburgh, but I wouldn't put big on. I'm not putting a lot on it. Uh, mostly because Omar is his first game back after a long time. He could be a bit rusty. But if he's not, I just have a feeling Buffalo could take this one. Maybe Buffalo on the PL is not a bad play here now that I'm talking about it. What's a spread? Uh, if you go to here, you get 180. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Go over to Patreon. I'll tell you tomorrow. But uh, right now, I got Pittsburgh ML and the under. Uh, Florida versus Chicago. I think I skipped this game. Yeah, um, I, I'm all over the place with this. You think Chicago can beat Florida two games in a row? I'm getting a little worried about Florida, to tell you the honest truth. Uh, Bobrovsky will probably be in here. Um, if Chicago puts Subban in, it makes it easy for us. But I don't think they will. I think they're going to put Lankin in. Um, what is, uh, that's right. I, I just got to check this really quick. Let's do a, this will tell me. Is Barkoff okay? Barkoff was hurt last. Barkoff was hurt. If Barkoff's out, oh, look at this, Barkoff. Okay, what do we got? This is uh, NBCSports.com injury report. It's already ruled out. Okay, Chicago. Chicago. We're going Chicago. And uh, the quick pickers didn't get this pick. <laughs> but that's what you get when you run off like that, right? Right. Make some time. Organize your life. This is important stuff right here. Uh, so we got Chicago on the ML, my friends. Uh, if Barkov's out, I have no choice. I have no choice. Detroit, Nashville. I'm going back to Nashville here. I just don't have any faith in Grice. Should be Soros in net for Nashville. Um, Nashville's, I think, the more rested team as well. Um, I wouldn't put huge on it, though, because Nashville's very injured. Let's go back to our injury report. We just refreshed it. We'll see if anybody's back. Ellis. Oh, look at this. You, Soros is back. Or not Soros. Uh, you, you, Yossi's back. So, yes, we will be going Nashville with Yossi back in the lineup for sure. For sure. Nashville. Maybe even in reg. We might even go in reg on that to bring to pump up that juice. Uh, as far as the over-under is concerned, Nashville has had a hard time scoring. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling the over in this one, though. I don't know why. I shouldn't because they don't score much, but... I'm feeling it. What did I put here? Huh, did I not put that give that as a pick either? Leafs, Penguins, Preds, Preds ML under five and a half. Sorry about that there. Yeah, okay. Uh now we got Wild versus St. Louis Blues. I don't trust the Blues right now at all. They are pretty much falling apart, that team. Uh, they can't seem to get it together at all. Minnesota has come back again after that crushing, couple crushing losses to Colorado. 
Um, it would be really nice if Dumba would be back uh, or Felino would be back in the lineup, but I don't think that's the case. St. Louis has been on the road for a long time. That's part of the reason. Tons of injuries for St. Louis as well. Um, Minnesota. Zach Parise out too? COVID. Okay, Zach Parise is out. Hasn't been playing much anyways. Okay, we Dumba could be back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Minnesota Wild, but I, I don't. I, I'm probably not gonna do it for too much. Just got a weird feeling about that game. I'm gonna keep on going back to Tampa Bay. Uh, they're just playing too strong right now, and Dallas seems like they're. They just can't get it together. Uh, they've they have injuries like crazy. They're getting a dealt a rough hand this year. Sagan, Radulov. It does look like Ropo hints is in, but I don't think that's going to move the meter enough, honestly. It should be Vasilevsky against, uh, I think they'll go with the kid here in Ottinger. I'm going to go the under on that. Uh, five and a half. It's under five and a half. I just don't think Dallas will score enough to push it to the over. So I'm going to go the under. Vegas, Colorado, I've said it in my Patreon. I'm going to say it. I'm taking Colorado pretty much every game this year from now on. They are just playing way too strong. Uh, I'm. Flurry has been playing fantastic, and Grubauer should be in net as well. We don't know. No, nothing has been confirmed yet. But um, I may go the over here anyways. I just think that if Vegas has a chance here, they're going to have to run and gun it a little bit. Uh, Colorado's just crushing the opponents right now. That's the thing. Tough. It, I don't really like the line, but if I got to take one, I'm going to probably say the over. And I'm going to take Colorado on the money line. Uh, what are they getting? I don't like that line. Are you kidding me? You're only getting 163 against Vegas on the money line? Oh. For that money, mate, you might fade it. I, I don't like that line at all. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42. I think it feels like we've run a little bit long here. Yeah, I'm going to let you go now, okay? Because I want you to be able to have people to watch this and take time to watch it. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.